What's up guys, today we're going to be showing you how I add glow to my footage in Premiere Pro using an adjustment layer and the HSL secondary panel. So I've got some FX3 footage here that we shot for a music video a couple weeks ago and I've already gone ahead and created it. And uh, we actually did shoot this scene using a diffusion filter, but I still think that these lights in the background could be a bit more glowy, a little bit more diffused. So I'm just going to start off by throwing an adjustment layer over everything. I'm just going to extend it out and rename it to glow. And I'm just gonna go straight into my HSL secondary panel and I'm gonna uncheck the hue range and the saturation range. And then we're just gonna be playing with the luminance slider. So I'm gonna drag this all the way out to the right to begin with. And I'm just gonna select this check mark. This is color slash gray. And I'm actually gonna switch this over to color slash black. And I'm just gonna drag this top point out to the left. And I just wanna select the lights in the back here, which are the brightest parts of the image. So they're gonna be selected in the higher end of the luminance range. And I'm just gonna feather this out a little bit and get a good selection on the lights here. And I think that selection will work pretty well. Now I'm just gonna go into my effects and I'm just gonna drag Gaussian blur on top of this. And then I'll just blur it out quite a bit. I think I'm gonna go with something like 300 right now. And then you can see if we throw this on screen, the glow is starting to come out, but the edges of the glow look super weird. So I'm gonna add another Lumetri. Then I'm gonna go into my curves. And I'm just gonna add a point right down here and then drop it straight down. And you can see that kind of gets rid of like the harsh edges. So I'm just gonna turn that off and on. And I think that looks pretty good, but if you do wanna make it look a little bit stronger, you can also add another point on your curve and just play with that. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is for now though. And obviously you can continue to play with your Gaussian blur and even your selection on the first adjustment layer. I'm just gonna drag this out a little bit, see what that looks like. You have a lot of different ways to play with this glow. So this is how I prefer to add mine. If you guys would like to see more tutorials like that, then uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.